Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and today I'm going to be talking about the law of superposition. Law of superposition essentially says the older rock is normally going to be found on the bottom. And so right here we're looking at a section from the Grand Canyon, and you can see that all the rock above this line looks very similar. It's actually called Navajo sandstone. But if I go down to the next layer of rock, it's going to look the same, and the next layer of rock is going to look the same, and the next layer of rock is going to look similar. So horizontally, rock looks the same, but the law of superposition says the farther down you go, the older that rock is going to be. Another thing that you should understand is that rock is going to be laid down horizontally. In other words, rock will, rock will be laid down flat because gravity is always pulling down. Now, an example of where you might see this in your daily life might be in your locker. And so I've grabbed a sample from a locker right here. So if I grab some of the stuff out, it looks just like that. We've got a book and a notebook and some papers. The the stuff that's laid down most recently, like this biology book, is going to be on the top, or like this looks like a geologic key. Um, we might then have a notebook that was used fairly recently, but the farther I dig down, I find crossword puzzles and doodling, and way at the bottom, I might find like a, a blank sheet. Uh, some sheet of blank paper, some headphones, those are going to be found at the bottom. And so that means that those were laid down more, more distantly or in the past. And so the law of superposition is fairly simple, but the problems you can solve with it are fairly complex. And so this would be an example of a geology problem that you have to, stu you have to solve. And so we can see all these different rock layers. So the idea is to figure out, well, which one of these occurred uh, most distantly and most recently. So could you put it in order from the thing that happened in the distant past to the thing that just happened a little bit ago? And so you might say some of these things might be easy, like probably this rock here, E, was laid down a long time ago, and this rock layer, F, was laid down fairly recently. Um, but how do you do that? Well, you have to use the law of superposition and the, and the law of horizontally laid down rock, and you can do pretty good at it. Um, when I was thinking about how I could kind of explain this to you, the, the, the thing that made most sense for me was to use a drawing program. And so imagine I were to ask you this problem right here. I were to ask you, could you figure out all these rock layers, which one was laid down um, in, in the oldest, or which is the oldest, and which is the youngest. And so some of this stuff would make sense, like this is probably older here and younger up here, but it's not always apparent until you actually see it take place. So let's take a look at what happened here. So this is me drawing it. I kind of sped up the drawing. And then let me pause it after a little bit. Okay, so let me pause it right here. So what happens? Well, we had this first layer of rock laid down, and then a second, and a third, and a fourth layer of rock was laid down. So we know that the oldest rock is going to be the rock at the bottom. But let's play what happens next. Oh, wow. Okay, so what happened there? Well, we had a fault. In other words, those rock layers, we'll say that look like this, were broken and lifted up. And when you're looking at problems like this, you try to match up the sides. And so you know that the rock was laid down before the fault occurred. And so we could say that this occurred before the actual break because you couldn't have a break in this until it was actually laid down. Let's keep going again. So what happened next? Well, that whole rock layer was tilted. That's kind of hard to, hard to figure out how that might work. Oh, what's this? That's me using an eraser. Okay, so what happened next? Well, it looks like we had erosion taking place, and so there was rain and wind, and it washed a lot of that rock away. Um, can we tell that that occurred after the tilting? I think that'd be kind of a hard one. So let's keep going. What happens next then? Oh, it's a lava. Okay, so we had a lava flow, and then that lava eventually um, eventually was eroded. And so this is horizontal now at this point, so we know that this occurred before uh, or after we had all of this erosion and we had the tilting. Looks like some more rock layers are going to be added as well. So we're adding more rock layers. Uh, what happens next? Looks like we have a little bit more erosion taking place. And is that it? No, we have this. What is that? Okay, that is 
uh, an intrusion. In other words, that's where molten rock is actually moving up. We call this a dike, and then that's causing this bulge or like an intrusion, igneous intrusion or rock that's actually intruding into other rock and then it's hardening inside it. Um, and so when did that occur? Well, we can look on here and we know that it actually, since it's cutting across all of these and cutting across over here, it actually had to form after these rock layers formed. And so if you know a little bit about the law of superposition and the law of uh, horizontally laid down rock, or horizontality, I think is what it's called, you should be able to put together some of the geology or how things laid down. Now, you normally don't see it like this unless you're actually taking a test. You usually see it something like this. And so what do you know using law of superposition? Let's take a look at this. This is a road cut. Usually you can't see geology because there's plants and stuff growing over it. But if you cut out a road or you cut out a trail or something like that, you can actually see the rock. And so here we have several layers of rock that were at one time laid down horizontally. And so we would say the oldest rock was down here and the youngest rock is up here. The whole thing was then tilted and then it was eroded. And so we have a uh, unconformity here, which is going to be an area where it was eroded. And then we have new levels, uh, layers of rock that are added on top of that. Since these are horizontally, we'd say this is the newest and this would be the oldest. Um, so I hope that's helpful.